we are set to go. Nebraska serving first to Washington. And the opening point goes to the Huskies. Big pancake dig by the libero for Nebraska. Justine Wong Arantes, Fiend missing that long. Kelsey Fiend for Nebraska. There she is. It's Melanie Wade serving for Washington. Amber Walson with that attempt. And then out of the middle, it is Cecilia Hall with the point. Krista Van Sand, Pac-12 Player of the Year, back-to-back -back years, first player in program history to do that. And she's a six-rotation player. We'll see a lot of her tonight. And a hitting error from the right side by Wade, point to Nebraska. I think the thing that makes Krista Van Sand special is she came in as the top recruit in the country and then just continually improved year by year. Albrecht serving for Nebraska. By Hall in the middle. Cecilia Hall, the biggest blocker on this Nebraska team, read the scouting report on Leanna Sebeldin. They prepared for this in the serve and pass, and it pays off. Hall 6-3 from Sweden, and Nebraska leads 3-1. NCAA tournament appearance meeting Hostra and Utah last weekend, surviving a five-setter against Utah. Utah actually had more kills than Nebraska and outscored Nebraska. And then Sam finally getting on the snap sheet. Washington 31 and 2. They started the year 24 and 0. Finished the regular season ranked third. And Krista Van Sant, their star. Did drop a set to Hawaii here last weekend. What do you think the big keys are in this match, though, Holly, between these two teams? Well, it's interesting. You talked about the road for Nebraska in this match. They played Utah, went five sets with Utah. And Coach John Cook for Nebraska thinks that Utah and Washington run that fast offense very similar. So help Nebraska prepare for this match. Chrissy Jones gets the point for Washington. Here is John Cook, a legend in the sport of volleyball. Coach Cook, player or a coach in his 15th season here. He's led this team to two national titles, going for his sixth NCAA semifinal, if he can get through this regional. Against another legend in the sport, Jim McLaughlin. Great coaches here. He's in his 14th season. Took this program to the national semifinals last year and led them to a national title in 2005. That year they won every match in a sweep in reach of the title. Great atmosphere here in Alaska Airlines Arena. Over 7,000 strong. And Van Sant gets her second kill. Krista Van Sant likes that particular play. She passes on the right side. They set her on the right. Look at the arm speed from Krista Van Sant, 16 and white. She is fun to watch. Amber Rolfson, a set of twins in the Nebraska lineup. Amber is number five. Her sister Katie is number six. Amber plays on the right side. Katie plays on the left side. So we're going to hear the name Rolfson a lot tonight. Service error by Amber Rolfson, side out Washington. And the Huskies move in front seven to five. One of the keys for Nebraska, they need to serve tough because Washington runs an extremely fast offense. You want to try and get them uncomfortable so they have to slow it down. Big serve by Strickland. Jones, the dig. And a double. 
double contact on Washington gives the point to Nebraska. It's rare when a setter double contacts the ball. It's Bailey Tanner, redshirt freshman. Her father was a great player, Troy Tanner, until recently was the head coach of Pepperdine. Jones terminates. Chrissy Jones, only a freshman, number 28 in white, so athletic she plays Peach. She just had to get on the court. They trained her as a middle early on, but she found a way into the lineup on the right side. She made the Pac-12 All-Freshman team. And, uh, only turned 18 years old this season. A youngster. That's Jade Finaw, who's been inserted into the lineup. Katie Beals out with an ACL tear in the final game of the regular season. And there in the middle is Melanie Wade. Melanie Wade works so hard. She just drives every time in transition, making herself available. She's six foot four, and she hits both corners extremely well. Point Nebraska. Megan Hegarty going off one foot, attacking the right side. Katie Beals, the junior setter, just before Thanksgiving against Washington State, tore her left ACL. Very unfortunate timing right before the NCAA tournament, but Jade now filling in for the injured Katie Beals and doing a good job running the offense. You see Jade Pinnell right there, number 22. She's a redshirt freshman from Marysville, Washington. It's about 45 minutes away from here, so you could call her a local product. Her, bro her brother Jarrett's a defensive end on the football team here at Washington. Scambray serving for the Huskies. And a kill from Kelsey Fine. Kelsey Fee, number 14. Good, quick arm swing. They're getting that ball out to her quick. They need to to find a seam in that Washington block. Fina Jr., all Big Ten selection. And Van Sant fools the Nebraska defense. I'll tell you, as a setter inserted to this type of a lineup, JP now gets to set Krista Van Sant. And she makes such good decisions when the set is imperfect, really takes the pressure off the setter. Successful kill by Amber Rolfson on the left side. Only the ninth true freshman to start under John Cook. Albrick back to serve for Nebraska. Also a freshman from Illinois. Again, the youngest team John Cook's had to deal with in Nebraska. 11 and underclassmen. That is young, but they're led by a senior setter, so that helps. He talks about the energy of this young team. It's fun to manage, but also a challenge. Mary Paul Miller is that senior setter, the All-American from Littleton, Colorado. Point Nebraska. Cecilia Hall, number nine from Sweden. She's a six foot three middle blocker junior. Christine Monarantes about to serve. And it is Van Sant. Washington runs that fastball on the right side and tough to stop. Look at the arm swing from Krista Van Sant. Look at the hole between the two blockers and she makes them pay. Quick snap through the seat. Service error. Point to the Huskers. Van Sant's already got four kills. Service error repaid by Nebraska. Both teams need to find that balance between really tough serve and an error. It's 
Strickland, an excellent server, the Pac-12 libero of the year, back behind the line. A jinxer, but you can see the power behind her serve. I feel like she's got a very effective serve, but it's a little bit high air as well. She was an outside hitter last year and turned it around to become the libero of the year in the conference. That's pretty impressive. Well, Coach McLaughlin challenged her and said, look, if you want to play at the highest level of volleyball, you have to transition to a libero. Just at her size, it's tough. The kids are getting bigger and bigger. Tough to be an All-American outside hitter, but as a libero, she can really dominate a match. This is Haggerty dumping it over for Nebraska. 14-13, Huskies in front of, of the Huskers. And Sam rifles it right at Rolson. Perfectly placed by Chrissy Jones. Chrissy Jones so good at hitting that corner. Chrissy Jones. Part of that T Street Club program. A lot of teammates from that on our Husky team. Good chemistry. They lead by two. All time leader in program history. Any any liabilities with Van Sam? I mean, is there anything you'd take her and try to work on right away? Or? No, uh, she's, she's, pretty complete. A com she's a complete package, but that's the thing. She came in as the top recruit in the country, but Coach Jim McLaughlin always pushes you to get better, so every year. I think this year she's become a better defensive player. Her numbers are up this year, and it's her final year. Senior from Redlands, California. In all serving. Point to Nebraska. There's Paul Miller, the senior setter. Only senior out there for John Cook's Huskers. The lone senior surrounded by a bunch of talented under, uh, underclassmen here in Nebraska. Welcome all of you to Seattle, where uh, we have a spot in the national quarterfinals on the line between two of the sports powerhouse programs, the Washington Huskies and the Nebraska Huskers. I'm Sam Gore, along with Volleyball Hall of Famer Holly McPeak. BYU getting past Florida State in the earlier semifinal tonight. That was an upset. And Washington playing on its home court here in Alaska Airlines Arena. It's a tight start to the match. Now 17-14, Washington in the opening set. Here's where we stand. The winner of this gets BYU tomorrow night at 11.30 Eastern for the right to move on to the national semifinals. These two programs have developed quite a history in the NCAA tournament. In fact, the last two times Seattle has hosted a regional, they've played Nebraska. And if you want to extend it out even further, they've played Nebraska every other year in the tournament since 2008. Including the NCAA final in 2005, where Washington swept Nebraska for the title. taken by Washington, a strong hit by Melanie Wade. Here's the head-to-head -head between them. You mentioned that 2005 championship. Washington didn't drop a set the whole tournament, by the way. And then the regional finals in 08, semis in 2010, and two years ago, Nebraska beating Washington to move to the national semis. Unfortunate break there. Melanie Wade served... A BB cross court. This is an overpass that Kaylee Nelson scores on nine out of ten times. Just doesn't get her whole hand on that ball. Nelson, a senior from Salem, Oregon, all Pac-12 for the second straight season. And a strong swing there by Katie Rolson. That's a heads-up play off the block. There's a deflection. Katie Rolson. Has a good, quick mind to think I'm going to attack that ball. No block in front of me. 
First kill for Katie Robson. Her sister Amber has two. Right now, Nebraska gets... Here, we're trying to break an 18-all tie in the opening set. And it's a plug by Nelson that does it. Kaylee Nelson, Leanna Sebeldin, and Krista Van Zant there for the assist. They knew they had to go outside, so Washington throws up a triple block. Kaylee Nelson gets most of it for Washington. Nelson rotates out. Washington up one, overpass, and then Sant gets the kill. The lead extends to two. Credit Bailey. The sold seats. A service ace by number 13, Bailey Tanner. Of course, uh, her father, Troy Tanner, former U.S. Olympian, and uh, ran that T Street Club, which produced four current Huskies, including his daughter. Coach Jim McLaughlin for Washington was the best man at Troy Tanner's wedding. We talked to Troy Tanner by phone. Karch Karai and I, last time we did a match here on ESPNU. <laughs> Excellent awareness in the middle. And as that was Cecilia Hall again. Hall came up big early in the set. She's got five kills. I've been very impressed with number nine, Cecilia Hall. She's a six foot three middle blocker from Sweden. She's a junior. Touch on Megan Hegarty, number 20 in black. Break for Washington. Yeah, it was. There's uh, Sabeldin. Uh, that point is going to go to Nebraska. Did she hit that on the follow through? I couldn't really tell. That was an easy point, off point opportunity yeah. for Washington. Just no touch from on the Leanna Sebeldin swing out of the middle. A couple of true one four stairs in this match, Ellie. I'm wondering if these teams are a little bit nervous. They have to be. It's natural. I feel like first set, the nerves are always there for both teams. And this is a, obviously a big match of national implications in front of a huge crowd. So you want to go your best player whenever possible. Unload this cannon of a serve. <laughs> Waiting to see. It was not touched, so the point goes to Washington. Alicia Ostrander, 10 in black, took a beautiful swing down the line. That's what was open because the defender creeped in, but gosh, she missed that by just a hair. A triple block up there. The odds were it was touched, but it is set point Washington as a result of that miss. Everyone standing, all hands in the air. 